moons. Oh, a moon. What would you name a moon? Tens of thousands of others are thinking the same thing. Scientists need help in naming some of Pluto's newly discovered moons. Fair enough, they've only managed to come up with P4 and P5. There is one name standing out for the original Captain Kirk, who's been on Twitter pushing it to his followers. For non-Trekkies, it's the character Spock's home planet. And a thumbs up from these space fans in Washington. I think that would be pretty cool because it's in space and Star Trek is a good movie. So, yeah. A lot easier to learn because you know, hey, that's off Star Trek, or hey, that sounds pretty cool, like a weird name, so it kind of would stick out to them. But Vulcan has got competition. 21 other names are listed as planet potentials, and Shatner's star power won't work on this clever 13-year-old. With Pluto being um, named after the Roman god of the underworld, and the first moon discovered Charon also being part of the underworld, I think that one of the moons should be named Cerebrus after another part of the underworld, another um, um, ancient Roman story in the underworld, and the other one, Orpheus, after another story um, relating to the Roman underworld. Voting ends on February the 25th, so you have to be quick. Just remember, though, best not to choose a name when you're hungry. Cookies and cream, because the cookies and cream is a good food.